We're here on the red carpet for BCAA Member Day, where as a BCAA member, you can get to see a free matinee movie at any landmark cinema across BC. Free movies and it's good if your car dies. Certainly saved me on the road a couple of times. Oh, definitely be a member. As a BCA member, you can save up to 38% on landmark cinemas. But you can also save on Blends Coffee. And you can even save on Whitecaps FC tickets. To find more great partners, visit bca.com forward slash savings. Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski and here are your top stories. A tragic end to a story that had so many Canadians tearfully watching this week. A five-year-old girl missing, her mother found dead in their Calgary basement suite and the search on for the person responsible. Unfortunately, Talia Lee Marsman's body was found near a road beside a field near Chestermere, Alberta. No effort had been made to bury the girl. Edward Delton Downey, 46, is charged with two counts of first-degree murder. Premier Christy Clark was in Kelowna this week for the official grand opening of the Pleasantville Affordable Housing Complex. It was two and a half years ago I was here for the groundbreaking and uh, you know but this project didn't start then it started six decades ago and uh, Pleasantville has been a home since the 1950s for seniors in this community and today look what it has become. The original Pleasantville complex was constructed on Richter Street in the mid-1950s by the Rotary Club of Kelowna. Ownership of the property was transferred to BC Housing in 2011. RCMP say they've targeted what might be a new gang in Kelowna. Officers raided a home in West Kelowna seizing eight weapons, ammunition, as well as drugs with a street value of just under $10,000. The gang Kelowna Warriors apparently have ties to another Manitoba gang. Two men and a woman from West Kelowna were arrested inside the home. A child was also found inside and handed over to the ministry. Downtown Kelowna just got a whole lot brighter thanks to the work of two artists. Shellac Attack and Bruno Smokey are painting a mural on the back of the new Hotel Z to bring some colour to the alleyway. My vision is part of a series of pieces that I've been doing um, throughout the years. So I'm representing a woman and an animal. The, woman, the women that I do are very colourful portraits as, as the animals are. Uh, my main message in my work I think is uh, being connected with nature and not above nature. Check it out just off Leon and Abbott Street. This week, Angus Reid asked Canadians whether they would prefer a service-included model or the current tipping model at restaurants. The two sides were close, but the status quo came out in a slight lead at 46%. Castanet hit the streets to find out what the residents of Kelowna thought. From Europe where they don't tip, but they pay decent salaries, the people actually reject you from tipping. Literally two weeks ago I was in Europe, come back to Canada and it's an expectation even when the ser service is terrible. Yes, people should tip uh, what they like depending on the service. Uh, I think it's fine, like I know, t like 15-20%, keep it how it is. That wraps up Castanet's Week in Review, I'm Jen Zielinski, thanks for watching.